Welcome again. In the previous lectures, we learned how to access and view remote data using RESTful services. In this lecture, we will see how to manipulate remote data using the same RESTful services. For this, we will connect to the department table from the remote instance to perform insert, update, and delete DML operations. We will also view the reflection of these DML operations side by side on the local Apex instance in Object Browser. Here as well, we will be using two different Oracle Apex instances running on different servers. So let's get started. This is the first instance, also known as local instance. It is running on Oracle Apex server and it will be the data source hosting the department's table. This is the second one called remote instance running on the Max Apex server. We will create an interactive report with a form to view, insert, update, and delete data in the department's table using this instance. Let's start the proceedings. In the local instance, access RESTful services page from SQL Workshop menu. Since you have already registered your schema with ORDS RESTful data services, you are not required to repeat this step. I am repeating it for my new schema. Here, I am using a new schema alias Remote DML. You can use your existing schema alias that you configured in the previous lecture. The message indicates that now I can share my schema objects with remote clients. Now create auto rest object. Select table for object type and select the department table from the object list. Connect to the remote instance. Go to Shared Components. Create a new REST data source from scratch. Set values on the first wizard screen. The URL endpoint points to the remote DML schema alias I created for this exercise in the department's table. Replace the schema alias with remote data you created in the previous lecture. The remote server screen comes up in which the first part is the base URL of the chosen remote server object. The HTTP URL endpoint of this REST data source module is made up from the base URL, which is pointing to the local instance. The second part is the server specific URL path for this REST data source module. The HTTP URL endpoint is built by appending this to the base URL. Accepting the values on this wizard screen, click Next. We do not want to implement authentication for this uh, new REST data source module, so turn off the authentication and click the Discover button to see the remote data. Click the Create REST data source button to complete the process. In the same remote instance, Create an interactive report page. Provide a non-existing page number and a name to this page. Also include form page. In the data source section, select the REST data source option and select the REST data source module you just created from the corresponding list. For primary key, select the department number column. After creating both report and form pages, run the report page. This is the data from the department's table. Click the create button to create a new department record.
the new department record is added to the remote departments table. Connect to your local instance. Go to object browser and select the departments table. You will see the new department record. Added the new department record in the remote instance by changing the location of this department. You will see an immediate change in the report. Refresh your local instance screen. The modification will be mirrored in the local instance. Finally, delete this new department from the remote instance. The new department is vanished from the report. Let's check this in the local instance. Yeah, it has gone from the source table as well. All the DML operations are performed successfully from the remote instance. That's it. The focus of this lecture was on manipulating remote data through insert, update and delete operations in the department's table. Utilizing two separate Oracle Apex instances on different servers, we observed the real-time reflection of these operations in the local Apex instance. The step-by-step -step guide covered creating RESTful data sources, establishing connections and building interactive report and form pages. The lecture concluded by successfully demonstrating the synchronization of DML operations between the remote and local instances, reinforcing a comprehensive understanding of RESTful services in Oracle Apex.